Fridays. My apologies for making this video in a row. It's late at night. I forgot to film this speaking part, so my bad. Today is a really, really interesting recipe. We are making Liang Pi, which is a Chinese steamed noodle recipe, or otherwise known as cold skin noodles. So it's a chilled noodle dish that is topped with cilantro, a bit of cucumber in there. We've got chili oil. Sometimes there's carrots, sometimes there's sesame seed paste. There's like a lot of things going on here. It's a total flavor explosion. It's a dish that originated in the Shanxi province in China, and it is so yummy and so addictingly delicious. And I thought I'd try my hand making it. It's my first time making it. It's definitely a bit of a process. So if you wanna fast forward, you're more than welcome to. The recipe is rather quick. It's more of an assembly. But if you wanna see my process and see um, my successes and failures and my tips and tricks, please go ahead and if you have any advice for me on how to improve please let me know in the comments below but without further ado let's go ahead okay and we have a few ingredients here and feel free to mix it up if you'd like i'm having some raw bean sprouts i have a english cucumber a bunch of cilantro some garlic of course we have some flour all-purpose flour soy sauce and black vinegar we're gonna begin by adding two cups of all-purpose flour in here, along with a teaspoon of kosher salt. We're gonna add some water, and we're gonna go ahead and start mixing that up with our hands and putting in about uh, two-thirds to three-quarters of a cup of water in here, and mixing it up until you get a nice shaggy dough like so. Keep mixing it up with your hands. If you need to add more water, please feel free to. And once everything is coming off to the side, it should look something like this. Cover it with saran wrap or a damp cloth and let that rest for half an hour. Once that's done, bring it to a flour service and knead it again for a couple minutes. And then we're gonna go ahead and let that gluten relax and covering it once again and letting that rest for at least one to two hours. From there, we're gonna go ahead and add some fresh water to our dough. And this is where we start washing the dough. And I know this is kind of bizarre. <laughs> I thought it was a little bit interesting too, but we're basically washing all of the gluten out, all of the starch out of our dough like so. And then what you'll get is this super cloudy water just like so. And we're gonna actually be making the noodles out of that cloudy water. So repeat this time about six, seven times. You'll get a bunch of cloudy water and the, runner should, the water should run clear after that. You'll have this mass that looks like a brain. It's our gluten or our protein. We go ahead and steam that for 20, 25 minutes, cover it, and then chop them up like that. I'll leave the cloudy water overnight for at least six hours. And as you can see, the starchiness comes down to the bottom and we're gonna want to drain that excess water out so there's a bunch of starch on the bottom we're gonna mix that up in the meantime we're gonna be mixing uh, cinnamon sticks and bay leaf fennel seeds special peppercorns uh, with half a cup of water to make a herb water we're gonna mince our garlic here that's gonna act as our toppings we're gonna go ahead and start chopping up some cucumber just on the side we're gonna bring a wok full of water to a boil and I'm using a paella pan here to kind of use use it as like a noodle pan. I'm spraying out with oil and then ladling in some of that starchy flour, water, pancake mixture, if you will, into the pan. We're gonna cover that and steam that for about two to five minutes. Honestly, it's a big range. It just really depends on your on your batter, and this is totally trial and error. We're gonna peel it off, and then we're gonna transfer that to a ice bath. We're again going to take off that cooked dough, and then brush that with a little bit of vegetable oil so it won't stick, 
and repeat the process until all of the dough is gone and you have all of these wonderful bases for a noodle. Layer them on top of each other. I got about four to five and we're just gonna slice it up. I would suggest maybe using a pizza roller there. Once the noodles are done, we're gonna go ahead and add some of that blanched bean sprouts, raw garlic, some of that gluten, the steamed gluten that we cooked earlier from the dough, julienne cucumber, a bit of chili oil, splash of soy sauce, splash of black vinegar, and some of that wonderful aromatic herb water and fresh cut cilantro. It's a lot of work, but totally worth it and totally delicious. Mix it all up and enjoy. Yum. If you like this video, don't forget to like, rate, and subscribe in the link down below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell just at the top right hand corner so you don't miss any new videos that are coming out. We'll see you right next week. Bye.